Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, y'all. Come it like a cherry. Come it like a cherry. Your oh, boy done switched up on you. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, y'all. You guys, look, if this is your very first time in this channel, you know what I want you to do right. Run over there and subscribe for me. And after you subscribe, make sure you hit that notification bell beside the word subscribe so that you'll be notified each and every time we upload a video. And then, welcome to the Lips family. Now, if you didn't hit that button and you didn't hit that bell, you have lied to me. And I know you lied. Period. <laughs> you guys, check this out today. We're going to go ahead and pray so we can get into the goodness. Here we go. Hey, man, how y'all doing today? How you doing today? How you doing today? You guys, today, we have some snow crab. We got a few lemons, a few peppers, and we've got a plethora of cucumbers chopped up down here, lightly seasoned with pepper and garlic salt. That's what we got on. We got number some plain butter back here. Big Ben is in the building, baby. Big Ben is here. Big Ben is in to help us out, y'all. Because, baby, we've been getting them hungry. Let's see if you guys are refreshing. Uh, yes, he is. You guys, Big Ben got some naturally cold H2O in him. You guys over to the side, I've got the Buffalo Wild Wings of vinegar and salt. I get mine from, directly from Buffalo Wild Wings. It's cheaper there, it's only like six bucks. And we have some red wine vinegar that I'm also gonna be using on the cucumbers. Okay, okay, let's get it. Let's get it, y'all. I'm gonna be putting this vinegar and salt kind of like real light across here. Y'all, this is how I eat them at home a lot. Uh, just like an old paper plate. And then we're just going to put us a little of this red wine down here. Just a little bit here and there. To capture the flavor. But not make it too runny. Where it runs off the plate. It is a delicate way to do it. But we got it. Okay. Mm -mm. Oh yeah, good too. Yeah, good. Mm hmm. Okay, you guys, let's get it. Today, y'all, we just got snow crab. We just gonna eat uh, some snow crab. How y'all doing today? Like I said, I ain't got nothing over here, just some regular butter. My regular butter. Mm hmm. I got some old bay over here, too. And we just gonna mind our own business. And eat our snow crab. Woo! Oh. Woo! And try to enjoy it. Mm. You guys, the weather is absolutely gorgeous here today. Gorgeous. Although this morning, I was about ready to pull my hair out. I was. Mmm. I really was. You guys, me and Lil Lips have to be in class at 8 o'clock here. Our time. Where the video comes out at 9. So pretty much I have to have the video finished prior to going. Oh, my bad. Y'all want a bite? I'm so sorry. I didn't give y'all no bite. I have to have the video done. Hmm. Mmm. Prior to going to class. Because we're only supposed to be in that hour. Well, we always run over. You know, 10 or 15 minutes. So I had to have that video done. Y'all, like I tell you, with the storm, it messed up all our towers and our. Uh, in this case, my Wi-Fi in my house and everything. So everything runs so slow. Like literally, 
the video that you guys watched yesterday. I started uploading that video at like 6 a.m. And it didn't, get, it didn't get through for me to release it to you until after 10. Something that normally takes about mm, 35 minutes. Mm. Mm. An hour on a rough day. For real. Y'all think I left some crab in one of them. Mmm. 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 Mm. Y'all on the side today. Although I'm gonna say, I hope that you guys are being safe. We're not gonna talk about. We're not gonna talk about Miss Corona today. Cause Miss Corona, she disrespectful. She disrespectful. She yeah. So we ain't gonna talk about her today. But we're gonna talk about some of y'all. Hmm. That has killed way more people. Oh. And it's just as prevalent. And significant in death even today. I'm gonna tell you one thing right there. That is, mm, mm. Ooh, there's one thing out there, y'all. I ain't nothing in it. That's why I left it over there. My bad. There is one thing out there, y'all, that is bigger, better, mm, and more prevalent than Corona. And that's what we're going to talk about today. And I know y'all sitting there thinking, hold on, lips. Hold up, Lip. Now, Lip. You know, Corona, the toughest thing. Mm, the toughest thing out there right now. No, she ain't. No, she ain't, y'all. No, she ain't. Mm. I'm going to tell you something that is killing more people. That is, mm, mm, a bigger pandemic, for real. They're sweeping the nation. Not by surprise, though. And honey, that's Miss Negativity. Hey, <laughs> hey, baby. If you think Miss Corona ain't no joke, keep dealing with Miss Negativity. And you're going to say that she is downright disrespectful. Yes, she is. But Miss Negativity killed way more people than Corona. Okay. And believe it or not, it's easier to catch. <laughs> it is. Baby, let me tell you something. I miss negativity. Right? Huh? See you everywhere. And you can get you over the phone. <laughs> you can. Y'all can waste some crap. Y'all better be careful. You know, because we're all locked in our homes. We are... Talking to people that we haven't talked to in years. Catching up with family. You know. So I just thought I would stop through. Hey. Early this morning. When he rolls up. At Thursday morning. Hey, hey. For real. I just thought I would stop by to tell you. Honey. Miss Negativity since you are. Dibbling dabbling with the kin folks. And old friends and all of that during the quarantine. Don't let a bad girl come into your home or your heart. Miss negativity. For real, y'all, you got to be careful. And now that you are dipping and dabbling with all these folks and things and stuff that you haven't been in a while. 
Because y'all, everybody don't mean you no good. I don't care how nice a person you think they are. Everybody don't mean you no good. They don't. I mean, they don't mean they got to do nothing bad to you. They don't have to do anything bad to you to bring negativity into your life. They don't. I tell you, you can catch um, negativity. You can catch her through the phone, honey. You can. Y'all don't be letting other folks put negativity into your life during this time. For real. Because I have learned in my life, y'all, that the most positive person, baby, can give you advice and mean well. Honey, they have your life tore up and slain in misery, honey. Yes, they will. <laughs> and they don't even mean no harm. Have your life torn up and slain in misery, honey. Yes, they will. Because negativity is something that is not unavoidable. It's how you deal with it. It's how much control you let her have of your life. For real. Because... Y'all, they say I was a nation. Even in coronavirus, excuse me, y'all. Even in coronavirus, although it hasn't here, statistically it hasn't here where I am, but even with coronavirus, y'all, domestic violence is going out the roof. Now, can y'all imagine how much of that really is homegirl talking on the phone with homegirl or homeboy on the phone with homeboy? Just negativity all the way around. Just negativity. Can you imagine how much of that done been started because of folks been on the phone? Done said too much in other folk business. I'm telling you, the nicest person will mess around, and give you some advice, and put stuff on your mind, and don't mean you no harm. Huh? Have your life tore up. Not for real. Be utilizing your common sense doing, you know, what's going on. And, y'all, I got on this today because I told you the storm that came through here three or four days ago, messed up the whole digital thing here. Well, in my home, anyway. Miss AT&T, she got so back together where well, we're functioning. Mm. Mm. But baby, it has not came back right yet. It has not. Mm. I'm getting it. It took me about four hours to upload a video today or something that generally uh, takes me about 35, 45 minutes. Mm-hmm. And Max. So, we were kind of forced to like uh, unplug, you know, the first couple of days. But then after that, because it is complicated and it's still, uh, you know, like, um, as Lil Lips would say, sketchy. It's still kind of sketchy, but, you know, it's functional at this moment. But, honey, it took me several days to realize that there is a great value to us being... I'm blue. For real. For real. Who say you got so much homework? You know, we homeschooling right now. And then, the playing old maid, Goldfish. Y'all remember Goldfish? Yes. Old school Goldfish. Y'all, we've been playing Goldfish. For real. We have. We been playing golf, baby. Like I said, it took me a while to realize 
the true benefit. Mmm. Took me a couple of days off of whining and complaining. Lord, I wish my internet was working. Mmm. Lord, I need my phone. You know, negativity. That's what I'm trying to tell y'all. Negativity. Instead of seeing the beauty of unsolicited and unwanted or maybe not unwanted, but not asked for. Mm. Quality time with the family. Which we spend a lot of quality time together anyway. But, you know, with no cell phone, and stuff like that, it just makes it I don't know. It just makes it different when there's no distractions from the outside. But that's what I'm trying to tell you about negativity. Because of the fact the stuff wasn't working like it normally was. You know, I got negative. Oh, Lord. You know I run a social media platform. Lord, you know I do. You know I do. You know I need these things to work. Mm. And you didn't see the beauty in it. That's why I wanted to talk to you today about Miss Negativity. Because y'all, Miss Negativity takes a lot of lives. Every day, in every country, potentially in every city, Every town in America, daily, for real, seriously, I don't care what nobody's saying, negativity got that Corona girl beat. And like I said, y'all, it's bad enough that we ourselves... You know, forget to look at the brighter side of things sometimes. And we'll get negative ourselves on ourselves. But honey, I did have to stop by. I for sure had to stop by to let you know that while we quarantine, y'all don't let nobody else bring no negativity into your life. A lot of times when your best friend calls or a good friend calls, I would suggest doing it to your best friend because your best friend relies on you a little more. But sometimes even now, for real, sometimes when your phone rang, honey, and you pick up, and you see the negativity coming, even though it's about their lives, or maybe even some mess about somebody else, I don't know. But I do know that most of the time, negativity jumps up quick, and that when you be like you in church. Bow out. You bow out. Because negativity will kill you. It will. Mm hmm. And just the past is corona. And negativity will. If you let it rule your life. I know y'all seen that. If you let it run what you got going on. That's why you got to stay prayed up. And think about things. For real. Think about it. Before you just react negatively toward anyone or any situation. Y'all right then, I went to put Mmm. Mmm. I right then, I went to put my cucumber up in this butter. <laughs> hey! I did. That's what I'm finna do. So y'all be careful about that. Uh, I hope that you guys are finding hobbies. Things to keep your mind together. For real. 
And you know the Bible saying, or, because I don't know if I've ever read it, this particular passage, but I've heard like the Bible saying, uh, the idle mind is the devil's playground. I don't think uh, I've ever read that myself. Um, and I don't really like quoting Mm. Mm. Uh. And I don't want to be done told nobody the wrong thing. I don't. Sometimes we get things mixed up. We do. But if you can avoid it, because like I said, I don't remember reading that passage myself. I don't want to see you wrong. But I do know if it's not in the Bible, or it doesn't say it exactly like that, that um, it's made reference to that, um, you know, an uh, idle mind is where the devil can work work with you really, really hard. Hence, negativity. For real. Negativity. Mm-hmm. Now, that's all he is. The devil comes here to steal, kill, and destroy. And he's good at his job. And he is not out. Cause of Corona! <laughs> he not! Baby, he took a day off. Mm-hmm. According to him, he was an essential service. Y'all see how I said I wasn't going to be talking about Corona today. Even though I am talking about something else, negativity. Corona, y'all just done took over our lives. Because I didn't want to talk about her that. Mm-hmm. But she played in. That's what I was talking about. So with that being said, if I can't get out of my head, why y'all can't get it in y'all's? Honey, it's still so many cities, including my own, that is skyrocketing with these numbers. Because folks won't stay in the house. And then when they are going out, obviously they're not doing what it, it takes to protect themselves. I mean, mm, you can't read their magazine. You can't look in their paper. You can't turn on any like newsworthy channel and not hear anything about this virus. So therefore, it's not like you're uninformed. De definitely the case. But you may have been uninformed about this old Miss Negativity. Mm-hmm. Because y'all, she show up on a regular basis. And she's more consistent than you would know. A lot of times, y'all, we can be negative and don't even know that we're being negative. Like, literally, like, you can get so used to that negativity feeling that you don't recognize that you're doing it even to yourself or to the people around you. You know, just be negative. So a lot of people like that with the best intention. Mm-hmm. There's a lot of negative people out there with the best intentions. Mm-hmm. Like I said, they had your life hold down and then flames, honey. And they had the best intentions in the world. Didn't mean no harm. None. But say, y'all, you got to recognize it. You got to recognize it. And like I said, you can't let other folks bog you down with they mess. Because they will. You know, it's good to be there for people. But someday, unless they climbing up the Eiffel Tower, they jump off. Respectfully decline. You know, don't let them plant that seed of negativity in you that day. You know what I'm saying? Uh, keep in mind now, 
Remember I told you that it ain't always other people. Sometimes it's you or me. Mm-hmm. That's why I think you got to be able to recognize that. Uh. So, anywho, enough about that. I don't know if that could be enough about it, but we're going to leave it alone for now. So I can get the crab up out of him. It's all funny. Mm. Stuck in your brain. But I got it. For sure. It's another piece up in there. Mm-hmm. Y'all, it's so funny watching. Mm. Oh. Watching like movies and stuff. Even cartoons. <sighs> With little lips. You know, she's. The next generation, she is, and she looks at things so much differently, and, you know, like, their, <clears throat> their minds mature a lot faster than boys and girls. They just kind of, you know, be different, for real. Mmm. Oh. Early on. Like they're just so much more knowledgeable. And I know it's social media. I'm sure. A lot of it. Or I mean, well, just the internet, period. But um in my day, I remember when the computer was just a bunch of like numbers on the screen. Like it wasn't no enjoyment in there. None. I remember that. I mean, I can't sit here and tell you I remember when computers were invented, but because I don't. But I do know when they first came out, the first one I seen, or the first one that I used, didn't have the number like numbers. like. There wasn't no pictures on it. And then, it, to be honest with you, I can't remember what, what it was used for. You know, by the time that they got it in your home, it was different by then. You know, but I think the first computer were just you like to store information. I don't know if they ever fathomed that that invention will grow into what it is today. Mm. But anyway, it makes these children different. For real, I struggle with just about everything on the computer. For the most part. Now, once I know how to do it, I'm good. But just to sit there and figure it out, and uh, like trying to make it do stuff sometimes. And then after a person tells me how to do what I'm doing, I'll be like, oh, that's so common sense. But it just don't come to me like that. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. Hmm. But anyhow, I know it's got to be that. But I just look at her. You know, like what she feels like or what is funny to her on movies. What's scary. Oh, excuse me. What's scary. You know, because they're just different, y'all. Mm -hmm. And then, like I said, just to stop back and think about 
So really take heed to, you know, this is the next generation. You know, and hoping that I have made it wiser. Or um, in some kind of way, you know, that I ain't having to prepare a uh, productive, successful, you know, well-balanced individual into the world. Mm. You know, to carry on what all couldn't be accomplished by me. You know, I may not ever in my lifetime be a multi I mean, I may not. But if I can make some good choices now to make sure that the next generation has a better start than I was given, mm. we're just that much closer to generational wealth. And that also plays into that negativity thing I was telling you about. Y'all, you can sit back and say all you want to. That my mama was a slave, or my grandmother was a slave, or my mama, or my daddy, or my grandmama, or whatever, were a factory worker, a miner, a coaler, whatever. You can put down that former generation all you want to, and let that be an excuse as to why you don't want to try or why you don't want to live up to your responsibility to deliver a better generation to the world than was delivered to you. I mean, for real. Mm. Mm. Yes, there have been people that have been born into wealth mm. for generations and generations on end. But it started somewhere still, y'all. It started somewhere. It did. I mean, none of our bloodlines or our family history just woke up and was rich. Because you got a bloodline that was here before currency wasn't even a thing. You see what I'm saying? You know. Ooh. So, it didn't start that way for anybody. If you have somebody from generation to generation decided that they weren't going to look at their family or what they had came from to be a generational curse negatively. If somebody along the way decided that, hey, I want better. For the next generation. So let me do my part. And I'm saying it to say y'all. Especially now that we're out. During this. um, You know. Going through this quarantine. Y'all. For right now. If you're at home. And you really have the time. Y'all get in there with the kids in their school work. For real. Get in there and see. Whether you understand it or not. Let's get in there and see. Poke around. If nothing else but to admire that the generation after you, you know, are doing better or are being exposed to different or better opportunities than we were when we were young, y'all. Because it really has changed a lot. It truly, truly has. Y'all, I was run my mouth. And I ate this food. Done been on two or three topics. <laughs> but I was hungry today. 
Mmm. That was. Mmm. 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 -hmm. I was hungry. Mmm. I could have another cluster, I think. I think I could have. Maybe it was already sitting up here. Mmm. And I had nothing now. But the last minute, I was like, no. I don't think I'm gonna eat that much. I could have ate it though. Mmm. Anywho, y'all. Oh, y'all, my show back on. On Tuesday night, y'all. I think it's the Discovery Channel. I gotta make sure. On my TV, it's channel 278. Maybe something expedition. I don't know. But anyway, y'all, my other, y'all know how I am at my show. My show, The Deadliest Catch. The show that shows you the sea boats that go out and catch the crab in the Bering Sea. Which is also the backers of Red Lobster. You know that's where that crab come from. I'm not going to say in its entirety. But I do know that Red Lobster is backed by, um, you know, these particular fishermen that are out there catching the crab. It's back on. Honey, and I love it because it has marathons every week. Every week. It's going to let you go back and be able to catch up. Every week. Every week. Ain't nothing in there. Yeah, y'all, I could eat nothing. Uh. Y'all, I just thought about something else too, honey. Yesterday, I ended up being able to, my phone was working right a little bit, and I was able to jump down in the comments there for a minute, y'all, and come see y'all for a minute. Honey, I think her name was. Mmm. Mmm. I beat my tongue, y'all. That's the second or third time doing this, I done done that. Mmm. But anywho, I think her name was Michaela Johnson, I think. Baby, she said, okay, lips, I see you rocking that illegal nails, too. Ha, <laughs> Baby, I fell out. I fell out. That was so funny to me. That was funny to me. It was, it was so funny to me. She said the illegal nails, and I got to thinking about it. Well, kind of, sort of, yeah, you are telling the truth. Hey! <laughs> Come on, me. Come on up out of there. Y'all, that's it. Mm. We ain't them all. We ain't no more. Mmm. Oh, that was good, y'all. Y'all, that was real good. That really was. Well. Ah, big man said good night. <laughs> y'all have been it out. I hope you guys have enjoyed. It has been extremely, extremely good. I enjoyed it a lot. You guys, do not forget to protect yourselves. Including protecting yourself from negativity. You know, shake your shoulders off. Pray a lot. Do something. To get the negativity out of your life if you are allowing it to come in. I love you guys so, so much. I truly, truly do. And like I said, I hope you guys have enjoyed. So I'm my new legion. Thank you so much for hitting that bell and hitting that button. We appreciate each and every one of you guys. So I'm my existing legion. You know what's up, baby. I love you guys so, so much. We're going to see y'all tomorrow, okay? Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, y'all. You guys look. Oh, wait, remember? There's always more than one way home. All you decide to do is get there. So get there, people. Get there. I love you all. And I'm going to see you guys next time. And if you're not going to watch me next time, you have lied to me. And I know you lied. Period. Ha, <laughs> Bye, bye. Ah. <laughs> 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 <laughs>
I bit my tongue two or three times. <laughs> Man, God, it ain't funny. It is. It hurt. It hurt. 